divine introspection is actually characterized by the divine qualities of God himself. It is to look towards our creator and then to mirror and emanate the creator. Now, it's one thing for us to have an example. We can look towards David. You can look towards Ezekiel. It's very humbling. And what we end up seeing is that in that same essence, we are also able to then therefore reconnect and create in the same measure through the word of God and that the word of God itself is the creation of miracles. Now, the perfect example is without doubt Christ. And through Christ, what we also end up building is that very evidence of the creator himself that we continue to go forth creating and that the grace of God is given forth through that creation. So that when Christ creates a miracle, he would tell, rise, kum, talitha. But he would also end up at the same way using that peace, that shalom, as he called the storm. Lazarus, come forth. But that ascension, you have to speak to the miracle. It comes forth within creation. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And that's the ability to build forth, to create. And to look towards the divine creation and the eminence that is set forth from God that is built within the formation of the scriptures. The text, the holy text, the holy scriptures himself is a key. It's a key into understanding, a key into creation. We understand, but it is minuscule in comparison to the understanding of God. Imagine as a child, someone that has 10 years in this world, is the equal measure to the oldest and the wisest amongst us. That the entirety of the understanding, not simply if you had, a, like for instance with Adam, nearly a thousand years, but to have all time, all existence and all perception, not simply a thousand years from the oldest that ever lived, but every year from everyone, that infinite perception. But that is the connection that we have to God. When we look at the Word of God, it shows us that. Not only do we see the very lives of the prophets and the kings themselves, but we also end up seeing the introspection of divinity that intervenes. That intervention of divinity is set forth with a dualistic perspective. It is the perspective of the beholder, of the prophet and of the king, and also the perspective of God that intervenes time after time and changes the path of this prophet, the path of the nation, and can change the path of the king to greatness. It can take the path where you would fall and lead you to the path where you will rise. That grace and that ability is the key and the essence of a passion for man heart after God. You build that, and he'll build everything else. My message for you today is keep your heart for God. Hold on to it. Persevere. And in time, you will receive your beloved, your instruction, your wisdom and knowledge, and your salvation. The salvation of Christ. Have it every day. Sow it and receive it. In Jesus' name, God bless. God bless America. And I'll see you.